praise be to the name of Lord Jesus Christ. God is good and His mercy endureth forever. Turn with me your Bibles to Mark chapter 1 verses starting from 21 to 28. And verse 25 says, Jesus rebuked him saying, Hold thy peace and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. The Lord drove the unclean spirit. People of God, physically, that person had unclean spirits. Yes, and it could not stand in God's presence. It claimed, Lord, you are the son of God. But then the Lord drove the unclean spirit out. Today, though we go to church, though we are called as believers of Christ, there are still unclean spirits, things which are against God's laws which are against the word of God, bad qualities. What are these bad qualities? Behind every bad quality, there is a evil force. We do not know that. Every bad quality is controlled by a evil nature. That nature came from our forefathers today as believers of Christ. Ask God, deliver me from those evil things in my life. I want to be clean in your sight, O Son of God. I want to be found in the glorious coming of God. You have to drive away my unclean habits, unclean spirits in me. Nobody is perfect. We cleanse our spirits. We cleanse our life. We cleanse our character each and every day. Now is the time. Because soon we are going to enter into a Lenten season. It is time for you to analyze your heart and come back to the Lord. Shall we pray? Father, dry away every unclean nature, unclean spirits, unclean oh, things that prevent me to enter joyfully into God's presence. Father, I pray, deliver your children that every unclean spirits, disobedient spirits, spirits which have pride, arrogant, lust, come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Let my people be freed, delivered, and bless them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Be delivered and stand as God's witness. Amen.